Good evening and welcome inside Regency Furniture Stadium as your Southern Maryland Blue Crabs are set to play host in game one of a four game series against the visiting Bridgeport Bluefish. Blue Crabs come in after a four game weekend series against the Sugarland Skeeter. Southern Maryland took the first two in that one back to back walk off wins. A walk off hit from Devin Rodriguez in the bottom of the ninth in a double header game. And then a walk off sacrifice fly off the bat of LJ Hose in the bottom of the eighth in a eight inning game, extra innings there. It was a scheduled seven inning double header that day. The Skeeters responded shutting out the Blue Crabs in the final two games of that series. Southern Maryland enters play today, 21 and 29 on the second half, 60 and 60 on the season, 39 and 31 in the first half of their Freedom Division Championship half. So Eric Fornatero is on the mound and he kicks and delivers a fastball called strike and we are underway here in game one. Darby Myers leads it off for the Bluefish as he drills the second pitch down the line to left field. That's gonna hit off of the wall. Myers around first on his way to second. Throw in from the left fielder, Jose Lozada is not in time. And Myers is aboard with a leadoff double, not the way Fornatero was looking to start this game. Fornatero enters play today 0-4 with a 6.42 ERA since his acquisition by the Blue Crabs on July 24th. Luis Hernandez, the switch hitting shortstop for the Bluefish, digs in now. As Fornatero to the stretch immediately, Hernandez squares to butt, pulls back as that one misses low. Hernandez lays the bunt successfully down the third baseline. Palmero will field it there and fire across to first. A successful sacrifice bunt from Luis Hernandez and Darby Myers is at third with one out in the inning and the heart of the lineup coming up. Jose Cuevas heading in to the box now. So one out, man on third with Cuevas digging in. He enters play today, 276 batting average, six home runs, 44 RBIs. Fornatero sets for the first pitch to him and delivers it shot right back where it came from. That's gonna get down in center field in front of Zach Cohn and Bridgeport will take a 1-0 lead immediately in this game. A double from Myers, a successful sacrifice bunt and an RBI single from Cuevas. And the Bluefish take a 1-0 lead with just one out here in the ball game. That'll bring up the cleanup hitter. First baseman, Sean Burrows, will take this opportunity to run through the rest of the lineup. We've seen the top three. Burrows digs in now. Jonathan Galvez, the DH, awaits on deck. Left fielder, Andrew Lambeau, at sixth. The catcher, Gustavo Molina, seventh. Osney Guillen in right follows in the eight hole and rounding out the lineup second baseman Angel Rosa as Fornatero gets across a fastball here. No balls and one strike on Burroughs. Runner off from first. This one's rolled towards first. Rodriguez will backhand it and his only play is to run to the base himself. A three unassisted will move the runner up as another Man in scoring position here, but Fornatero does have two outs in the inning as he looks to limit the damage in the top of the first. He'll have to go through Jonathan Galvez, the designated hitter. Galvez enters play with a 283 batting average, 16 home runs, and 69 RBIs. As he is tops on the Bluefish in both categories. 
He takes first pitch, ball one. Cuevas with decent speed out at second. I imagine he will be waved and test the arms of the Blue Crabs outfielders. As Fornatero comes set for the 1-0 and misses low and away. That outfield consists tonight of Jose Lozada in left field, Zach Cohn in center, and LJ Hose in right. Infield, Patrick Palmero, Edwin Garcia, Brian Bistain, and Devin Rodriguez with Luis Allen behind the plate. 2-0 pitch, a big cut and a high pop-up back behind the plate. Luis Allen, the catcher, is giving chase as he will reach towards the crowd, but that one will get out of play. For strike number one, Allen just ran out of room as he was tracking that one the whole way. About a foot out of his reach. And Galvez will head back with a 2-1 count. Everyday center fielder Corey Vaughn with the day off today. So Cohn moves from his normal position in right field to cover center. 2-1 shot towards the right field line. That's going to keep drifting foul and out of play. Two balls and two strikes. So with right field vacated by Cohn, LJ Hose moves over there, and Jose Lozada, the utility man for the Blue Crabs, will head out to left field. We've seen him at second base, shortstop, third base, and left field and right field this year. The only positions he hasn't played are catcher, center, and first base. 2-2 pitch to Galvez, misses outside, and the count runs full here on the number five hitter in Bridgeport's lineup. Despite the damage in the inning, Fornatero has thrown just 12 pitches as Bridgeport is being quite aggressive early in the count, jumping on fastballs that they see, and it's worked successfully to this point. Payoff pitch, breaking ball called, strike three as Galvez goes down looking to end the inning here in the first, but the Bluefish strike first. A leadoff double from Myers and they cash it in, one run on two hits, no errors. They leave one man on base. Southern Maryland will look to respond. Jose Lozada, Edwin Garcia, and LJ Hose do up when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Hey, this is Cody Hebner, pitcher for the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. Join me at select Saturday home games throughout the season as the Blue Crabs light up the night sky with post-game Saturday night firework extravaganzas. For more information, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or call us at 301-638-9788. Blue Crabs fans, the Blue Crabs are celebrating their 10th anniversary season in 2017, and they can't do it without you. Join the team all season long for special giveaways and ongoing 10-year tributes with group tickets starting at just $10. Regency Furniture Stadium's spacious and modern amenities include 16 luxury suites, an all-you-can-eat picnic pavilion with a great view overlooking left field, and the Legends Club, which can host your event of up to 160 people for a game or any time. Call today at 301-638-9788 to speak with a sales executive or visit somdbluecrabs.com for more information. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate Joe Gannon on being voted by fans as the starting pitcher for the Blue Crabs' 10-year team. Gannon made his professional debut in 2002 before signing with Southern Maryland in 2008, where he went 12-6 with a 3.17 ERA in his debut season with the team. During this campaign, he was named Atlantic League All-Star and Atlantic League Pitcher of the Year. Gannon appeared in 100 career games for the Blue Crabs, collecting 26 wins, including his 12-win season in 2008.
inside Regency Furniture Stadium as Blue Crabs coming to bat for the first time looking to respond to the run put on the board by the Bluefish in the top of the first. Rainier Roy Ball takes the mound and he delivered a first pitch fastball called strike to Lozada. Second pitch a fastball once again. This one too far inside. Roy Ball interplays enters play today, excuse me, with a 3 and 2 record. A 287 ERA, nine games, seven starts for the Bluefish. As Lozada with a big cut on the 1-1, one, one, fouled straight back, one ball and two strikes. Roy Ball works out of the windup. Reddy's now for the 1-2 pitch to the switch hitting leadoff man for the Blue Crabs. This one swung on and fouled back out of play. So Lozada stays alive here to lead off the bottom of the first. He enters play with a 282 batting average as he rolls this one towards second. Rosa is right there. He'll flip on to Burroughs at first and one out here in the top of the first, or bottom of the first. We'll run through the Blue Crabs lineup as Edwin Garcia's digging in. We saw Lozada leading off. Garcia bats second. Right fielder LJ Hose will bat third. Michael Snyder will DH in the cleanup spot. Devin Rodriguez, the first baseman, bats fifth. Patrick Palmero in the sixth spot. He'll play third. Luis Allen will catch. Zach Cohn bats eighth in center. And Brian Bistain, the second baseman, will round out the lineup as first pitch fastball to Garcia called strike one. Roy Ball winds and delivers. Fastball on the outside corner. No balls and two strikes quickly ahead of Garcia. The Blue Crab shortstop enters play with a 259 batting average. Two home runs, 28 RBIs on the season. 0-2 pitch, another fastball. This one's rolled right to the same spot as Lozada, and Rosa will field it at second and fire to first once more. Two up, two down here to start the game for Roybal. That'll bring in the right fielder, L.J. Hose. Hose sitting at a 300 batting average on the season. Two home runs and 27 RBIs. He takes first pitch fastball inside. One ball and no strikes. Hose has struggled a bit as of late. A tough series against Sugarland in his last five games. He's hitting just 235. But he gets a hold of one here to deep left field. Left fielder Lambeau going back. He leaps at the wall and makes the catch against the wall. Lambeau robs an extra base hit here. And that will retire the side. Hose can't believe it. He thought that one was gone, but it got cut up in the wind. And a 1-2-3 inning for Roy Ball. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base for the Blue Crabs. And Fornatero back to the mound when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Celebrate the history of our national pastime at the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum in Cooperstown. See priceless treasures that would bring your baseball memories to life. Cooperstown is where you, your family, and your friends can relive baseball's greatest moments and honor the all-time greats of the game. Plan your family visit today at BaseballHall.org. Blue Crabs fans, join us at select Thursday home games for Foster's Grill Wings and Beer Night. For just $30, you can enjoy a ticket to the game and two hours of all-you-can-eat Foster's Wings and all-you-can-drink beer in the Legends Club from 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. For more information on this or any other exciting offers throughout the season, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or you can call us at 301-638-9788. 
For any sign, banner, or custom graphics needs, be sure to check out Fast Signs of Waldorf. Fast Signs works with you to create a targeted message that brings interest to your product, and their expert graphic design artists bring your ideas to life for you. For more information on their products and services, visit their website at fastsigns.com forward slash 2017, or stop by their Waldorf location, located at 11750 Business Park Drive, Suite 105, open Monday through Friday. Fast Signs, the official sign partner of the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. and you're listening to the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Ornatero back to the mound for the second inning. 6-7-8 due up as Andrew Lambeau leads it off. Takes fastball outside, one ball and no strikes. Ornatero gave up a pair of hits in the first and gave up the lead. A double from Myers and a RBI single from Cuevas did the damage as another fastball misses up and away. Two balls and no strikes. The 2-0 is lined through the right side and into right field. A leadoff single for Andrew Lambeau and the leadoff man's aboard once again here in the second. That'll bring in former Blue Crab, Gustavo Molina. Molina has struggled a bit with the bat on the season. He's hitting just 183 coming into play today. First pitch to him, a ball outside. One ball and no strikes to count now on the catcher. Fornatero back to the stretch. Kicks and delivers fastball outside. Two balls and no strikes to count. Molina joined Southern Maryland in 2015. He appeared in 78 games for the Blue Crabs that year, hitting 285 with 13 home runs and 52 RBIs. Ornatero delivers another fastball here. That one misses outside. And three balls and no strikes here to Molina. Fornatero struggling mightily with his command to this point. As he kicks and delivers a fastball once more. This one does catch the plate inside corner. Three balls and one strike. Molina returned to Southern Maryland for the 2016 season. He hit 254, six home runs, 24 RBIs in just 54 games that year for Southern Maryland before joining Bridgeport this year. 3-1 fastball off the plate away, and Molina walks on five pitches, and Bridgeport is threatening once again here in the second. They have runners on first and second with nobody out in the inning, and the right fielder, Osney Guillen, digging it. Gian hitting 251, two home runs, 26 RBIs on the season. Ornatero kicks and delivers. First pitch to Gian, misses inside. One ball and no strikes. He falls behind yet another batter. Gian has played in eight games against the Blue Crabs this season, is hitting 370 against Southern Maryland. As another fastball misses high, two balls and no strikes. The Bluefish, as a team, have hit very well against Southern Maryland this year. A 304 batting average in the 16 games between this, these teams. But Southern Maryland with a 9-7 and seven record against Bridgeport heading into this game. Born 
Otero ready for the 2-0. Fastball catches the outside corner. Two balls and one strike. So for Natero, has thrown 24 pitches, 12 strikes and 12 balls. Not the ratio you want to see from a pitcher on the mound. As Guillen squares to bunt here, pulls back. And takes a change up low. Fornatero is behind another batter here. He can't afford to walk in and load the bases. So he's going to have to come right after the Bluefish right fielder here. Infield in double play depth. They're looking for a ground ball. As the right-hander sets and delivers. 3-1 fastball. That one's low. And back-to-back -back walks have followed the leadoff single. And the bases are loaded with nobody out. That'll bring out James Frisbee to have a conversation with his starter. Fornatero did have his turn skipped in the rotation. His last time out that was scheduled, he was dealing with some tightness in his arm. So we're hoping that that's all cleared up, but he's struggling here early, and it makes you question how healthy he is on the mound. The bases are loaded here in the second, and Angel Rosa is coming up to bat. Rosa batting for the fifth time with the bases loaded. He's 0 for 5, though. Does have a sacrifice fly on his record, 1 RBI. Blue Crab's middle infield is back in double play depth, willing to trade a run for two outs as Fornatero goes with the breaking pitch. That misses low and away. One ball and no strikes behind yet another batter here in the outing. Lambeau on third, Molina on second, and Guillen on first. As this one's flared out towards shallow right, Hose will come in. He'll make the catch. Lambeau will fake the tag from third as Hose air mails the throw. But Fornatero is backing up his catcher and is right there to field it. So no damage there as Rosa is set down for the first out. A good job by Fornatero to get off the mound and get into his position. He was a little late, but was right there when Hose overthrew his catcher, Allen, and likely saved a run as Lambeau was a quarter of the way up the line after faking the tag. That will, however, turn the lineup back over to the top as Darby Myers digging back in. He is 3 for 10 with 7 RBIs with the bases loaded this season. He comes in to play today with a 347 batting average, tops in the Atlantic League. He added another hit to that total in the first on a double down the line. Came around to score the run in the game so far. He did take first pitch fastball for a called strike, so Fornatero is ahead of Myers, no balls and one strike. He has fantastic speed, so it's going to be a tough double play as Fornatero gets a fastball inside and jams Myers a little bit, fouled off to the right side, no balls and two strikes. Fornatero on the mound in desperate need of a strikeout. He has 13 and in 21 innings with the Blue Crabs coming into play today. He picked up a strikeout looking of Jonathan Galvez to end the first. If he could get his second here and potentially get closer to stranding the bases loaded. This one's popped up towards first. Rodriguez is tracking back. The infield fly is called. And Myers is retired for out number two. Rodriguez made the play anyway, but the infield fly ruling protected all of the runners, and now Fornatero is just one out away from working out of a jam as Luis Hernandez is digging in. Hernandez laid down a sacrifice bunt down the third baseline in his first at-bat, so yet to record an official at-bat in the game as Fornatero sets at the shoulders and delivers breaking ball outside, one ball and no strikes. 
Cornetero making his 15th start of the season, six with Southern Maryland. He made nine with New Britain before the Bees traded him to the Blue Crabs. Chopper up the middle. Bistain slides. He'll knock it down, but that's all he can do as an infield hit from Luis Hernandez will score Lambeau from third, and the Bluefish take a 2-0 lead here in the second. So Fornatero works all the way back to coming within one out of ending the inning and giving up a zero despite the bases loaded, nobody out. But a chopper up the middle from Hernandez gets the job done as he's credited with an RBI single. His 34th RBI of the year. More danger at the plate now as Jose Cuevas digs in and takes Curveball low and away. One ball in, no strikes. The 2016 All-Star returns for a second season with the Bluefish. Sitting 276 with six home runs, 44 RBIs. He takes one on the inside corner. Called strike, one and one. He extended that to 45 RBIs on a single in the first. That allowed Myers to come across and score from third. Tarot sets now for the 1-1 pitch to him. This one's lined out towards left. Lozada drifting into the gap will make the play and end the inning. So Fornatero is able to limit the damage. The bases were loaded with nobody out, but he gives up just one run on two hits. No errors. He leaves three men on base. But the Bluefish extend their lead 2-0 the score as we head to the bottom of the second. Michael Snyder, Devin Rodriguez, and Patrick Palmero do up when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. On Friday, September 15th, the Blue Crabs will honor all those brave men and women who risk their lives every day protecting and serving, and those who came before them with First Responders Night, brought to you by Firehouse Subs. There will be 9-11 remembrances all night, and all first responders and their families are encouraged to join us. A post-game helicopter ball drop brought to you by the Charles County Chamber of Commerce and Washington Gas will land one lucky fan $10,000 with proceeds from every ball sold going to a first responder's charity. Get your tickets today at the Regency Furniture Stadium box office, online at somdbluecrabs.com, or by calling 301-638-9788. The Blue Crabs would like to thank Domino's Pizza for their sponsorship for the 2017 season. Be sure to try Domino's new stuffed cheesy bread or their oven-baked sandwiches featured on their two for five ninety nine menu. To find a location near you or to place an order online, please visit www.dominos.com. Domino's Pizza, the official pizza sponsor of the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. At their location at 173 St. Patrick's Drive, Grill 13 makes it easy to enjoy their Irish fare and great drink specials every day. At Grill 13, they believe in good food, good drinks, good people, coupled with extraordinary customer service and cleanliness to make you feel part of the family. Whether lunch, dinner, or a round of drinks after the long workday, visiting Grill 13 is always a great experience. Feel free to come relax with family, friends, or even fly solo with a premium cocktail, our handmade pulled pork, fresh wings, bangers and mash, or any one of their tasty dishes. Then indulge in one of Grill 13's famous premium handmade sugar lips desserts. Call 301-645-2983 or visit grillwithane13.com. Cody Hebner, and you're listening to the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Michael Snyder digs in to lead off here in the bottom of the second as Rainier Roy Ball back to work. Delivers a fastball called strike on the inside corner, and he's ahead of the cleanup man for the Blue Crabs. The 0-1 pitch to Snyder off the end of his bat the other way. The right fielder, Guillen, headed to the line, will make the catch just inside the foul line in fair territory, and Snyder is retired for out number one. 
So after taking 10 pitches to get through the first, Royball goes right back to work and takes two to retire. Dangerous bat of Michael Snyder, but still danger looming in the inning as Devin Rodriguez and Patrick Palmero are the next two due up. Rodriguez heading into the box now. His batting average has dropped all the way to 379. It was up over 400 at the 406 mark. So it is, in fact, a drop to get to 379, but nothing to look down on as he takes fastball called strike 0 1. Right hander Roy Ball winds and delivers. This one jams Rodriguez a little bit as he fights it off the other way out of play. No balls and two strikes. The Bluefish do have Rodriguez played to pull on the infield as a lot of room down the third baseline. But the left fielder Lambeau has after actually shaded towards the line on the opposite way, leaving a big gap in left center if Rodriguez can head over the shortstops spot in the infield with Hernandez vacating that there's a big hole all the way from home plate to the wall on that side of the field he looked to go the other way again as he fought it off foul and no balls and two strikes still the count Rodriguez has killed the bluefish all season 12 for 25 a 480 batting average as he takes a breaking ball low and inside here He's also pitched in a pair of home runs and nine RBIs against Bridgeport, including a walk-off two-run home run on June 24th in the bottom of the 11th that walked it off against David Carpenter. One-two breaking ball is swung on and weakly rolled down the first baseline, but that's going to get foul before Burroughs can make a play on it. So Rodriguez fighting to stay alive here in the at-bat will hold at one and two. The Bluefish have put up a run in each of the first two innings at the plate for them. The Blue Crabs looking to match at least one of those here in this inning. Big swing again as Rodriguez fouls that one straight back. And the battle continues at the plate. Despite the count being just one ball and two strikes, Rodriguez has seen six pitches in the at-bat. He's fouled off four of the six. He digs back into the left-handed batter's box now. Only true left-hander in the lineup today, Jose Lozada, the switch-hitting leadoff man, will bat from the left side. Roy Ball turns to a 1-2 fastball, swung on and missed. And Rodriguez is finally set down on strikes. It took seven pitches, but Roy Ball wins the battle, his first strikeout of the game, and out number two in the inning. That's Roy Ball's 47th strikeout. He had 46 and 40 and two thirds innings coming in to play today. That'll bring up Patrick Palmero with the bases empty and two outs. Palmero swinging on the first pitch. That one's chopped foul as well. No balls and one strike. The third baseman for the Blue Crabs digs in with a 250 batting average. 10 home runs, 45 RBIs. Roy Ball shakes off the sign from Molina. Now winds for the 0-1 pitch. Fastball blown by Palmero. He was a little late there. No balls and two strikes the count now. Five up and five down for Rainier Roy Ball at this point. He's looking for his second 1-2-3 inning to start the game as he kicks for the 0-2. Palmero fights it off the other way and stays alive here in the at-bat. Palmero, the son of former Baltimore Oriole, Rafael Palmero, his younger brother, Preston Palmero, is actually in attendance today. Preston currently in single A with the Orioles organization. 0-2 pitch rolled towards second. Rosa is there. He'll fire on to first. And another 1-2-3 inning for, for Rainier Royball. 
He takes 13 pitches to get through this one, but gives up no runs on no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. Four, five, six, due up for Bridgeport when we come back in the top of the third here on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Hey fans, be sure to join us at the ballpark every Tuesday home game for our new Tuesdays. During these games, concessions will be offering fans $2 pretzels, popcorn, and peanuts. For more information, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or call us at 301-638-9788. At their location at 173 St. Patrick's Drive, Grill 13 makes it easy to enjoy their Irish fare and great drink specials every day. At Grill 13, they believe in good food, good drinks, good people, coupled with extraordinary customer service and cleanliness to make you feel part of the family. Whether lunch, dinner, or a round of drinks after the long workday, visiting Grill 13 is always a great experience. Feel free to come relax with family, friends, or even fly solo with a premium cocktail, our handmade pulled pork, fresh wings, bangers and mash, or any one of their tasty dishes. Then indulge in one of Grill 13's famous premium handmade sugar lifts desserts. Call 301-645-2983 or visit grill with an e 13com The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate Christian Lopez on being voted by fans as the starting catcher on the Blue Crabs 10-year team. Lopez was drafted in the sixth round of the 2003 MLB Amateur Draft by the Tampa Bay Rays. Lopez signed with Southern Maryland in 2010 where he hit 274 with seven home runs and seven stolen bases in his debut season. Lopez was also named an Atlantic League All-Star in what proved to be his final season with the team, 2012. In 285 career games for the Blue Crabs, Lopez collected 20 home runs, 106 RBIs, and 26 stolen bases. Hey, this is Zach Cohn, and you're listening to Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Tarot back to the mound. Four, five, six, due up in the inning for Bridgeport. As Sean Burroughs digs in to lead it off and takes first pitch, ball one. Burroughs 0 for 1. He grounded into a three unassisted in the first inning as he takes low and inside here. Two balls and no strikes. Burroughs digs in with a 331 batting average coming into play today. That's second in the Atlantic League as Bridgeport has. The top two hitters and three of the top five. Tony Abreu also up there. He's out of the lineup today, though, with his 315 batting average. Cornetero misses once more as he's behind Burroughs. Three balls and no strikes. Taking all the way here on a fastball called strike three and one. Three-one change up off the plate away, and Burroughs draws a walk here. He will head down to first. The third walk issued by Fornatero on the game to this point. He gave up two last inning en route to loading the bases with nobody out. He ended up limiting the damage in that inning, giving up just one run on an infield single. That gave Bridgeport a 2-0 lead where we stand right now. As he sets now for the first pitch to Jonathan Galvez. Galvez behind a fastball, fouls it off to the right side, 0-1. Galvez struck out looking on a 3-2 breaking ball that snapped back across the inside corner. Swinging here and a fly ball out towards right. Hose is drifting towards the line. He'll make the catch in right field. And Galvez is set down for the second time, out number one here in the inning. That'll bring in Andrew Lambeau. He got the rally started in the second, a leadoff single. He came around to score on the infield single from Hernandez. Lambeau in his 11th professional season, first in the Atlantic League. He signed late in the year with Bridgeport, June 6th, after spending 
12 games with AAA Nashville of the Oakland A's organization. Rambo takes first pitch, called strike, no balls and one strike. He played in 60 games across the course of four seasons in the major leagues, playing with the Pittsburgh Pirates in 2014, 13, 14, and 15, and the Oakland A's in 16. Changeup misses outside, one and one. In those 60 career games, he has one home run, three RBIs, and eight runs scored. Sitting 275 with five home runs and 27 RBIs on the season since joining Bridgeport. Runner off from first here on the 1-1. That one's pulled foul, one ball and two strikes. Burrow's not much of a stolen base threat, but he had a huge jump there. He's four for four in stolen base opportunities this season. So Fornatero must have fallen into a routine in his motion to the plate that Burroughs was able to pick up and take off, feeling comfortable on his way to second. Right-hander sets now and kicks for the one-two. Change up, misses outside. Two balls and two strikes to count now. Extends his lead by about half a step at first, but still small as Fornatero delivers 2-2 breaking ball. That one swung on and rolled down the first baseline out of play. So we'll do the 2-2 one more time. Fornatero gives a look at first before coming set now and delivers another breaking ball here a little bit early as that one's rolled towards the Bridgeport dugout and out of play. Two and two remains the count as the battle at the plate continues here. Tarot sets once more and delivers check swing. That's sent out towards second. The third base umpire, Donnie Meyer, who's out there, says no swing. As Lambo stays alive in the at bat. He's making Fornatero throw a lot of pitches here. As he's already seen seven, it'll take an eighth to decide the at bat. Runner off from first on the payoff pitch. That one swung on and fouled back. So Burroughs will have to retreat. And we'll do it once more. Another long at bat for Bridgeport against Fornatero to this point. As his pitch count continues to climb here early in the game. Not what you wanted to see as he's up at 51 through two and a third. Sets for the 3-2 once more. We'll see if Burroughs is off again. He is as the breaking ball misses outside. And Lambeau wins the battle, a 10-pitch walk. And he's aboard on first. That'll bring in Gustavo Molina. Molina walked in his first at-bat of the day. He was stranded at third, though, with the bases loaded and two outs. Fornatero goes to the changeup. That one misses inside. One ball and no strikes to count here. So falls behind another batter in this one. He has only thrown. He's two for four in first pitch strikes in this inning. But last inning, as he misses outside here, two balls and no strikes. As I was saying, last inning, he threw a first pitch strike to just one of the seven batters he faced. Two 
balls and no strikes as Fornatero sets and delivers. This one's popped up. It's drifting into foul territory. Palmero tracking it there, and he'll make the catch for out number two. For Fornatero gets Molina and is now just one out away from getting out of the inning. That'll bring in Osney Guillen. Guillen walked in his first at bat as well. He's in his first season in the Atlantic League, fourth in professional baseball. He was a 22nd round draft pick in 2010 out of high school by the Chicago White Sox. A high fly ball towards right center. LJ Hose drifting over will make the catch and in the inning. So Fornatero struggles with the command once again, but gets out of this inning unscathed. He allows no runs on, no hits, no errors, and two men left on base. Blue Crabs yet to put a man on base as the 7-8-9 coming up in the third. Luis Allen leads it off when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Don't forget, kids, every Sunday is Kids Day at the ballpark. Bring the whole family out to the ballpark and enjoy a pregame autograph session with the Blue Crabs players. Free admission to Pitches Playground and postgame kids run the bases. For more information on this or any other exciting events throughout the season, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or you can call us at 301 638 9788. TN Bowes Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to present fans for our fans at Regency Furniture Stadium this 2017 season. When the temperature at game time is expected to be a scorcher, TM Bowes will do what they do best, keep you always the right temperature, by providing hand fans to the first 200 guests entering the stadium that day. Learn more about their technologically advanced AeroSeal duct sealing procedure online at tnbowes.com. TN Bowes, for all of your air conditioning and heating needs. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs want to congratulate Casey Benjamin on being named as the second baseman on the Blue Crabs' 10-year team. Benjamin was signed out of Tennessee Technological Institute by the Texas Rangers organization where he made his professional baseball debut. He signed with Southern Maryland in 2010 where he hit 304 with 20 home runs and 112 games. Benjamin played in 327 career games with the Blue Crabs, hitting 54 home runs and driving in 209 runs over his three seasons with the team. <laughs> This is Kaleka Kahohalahala, and you're listening to Blue Crabs Baseball Network. 7-8-9 due up against Rainier Roy Ball here in the bottom of the third. As Roy Ball back to work, delivers fastball that misses inside. One ball and no strikes. Luis Allen with a high fly ball on the second pitch here, but right at the center fielder. Darby Myers as he will camp underneath that one and make the catch for out number one. So Roy Ball starts the third the same way he started the second. A two pitch fly out and now one out and Zach Cohn heading in to the plate. Cohn hitting 249, nine home runs, 44 RBIs on the season. He's fallen into a bit of a slump as of late. First pitch to Cone missed outside. One ball and no strikes the count. 
Free ball winds for the 1 0. Breaking ball swung on and fouled back. 1 and 1 the count. Cone on the month of August hitting just 164 with one home run, three RBIs. He's fallen even further in the last 10, hitting just 148 over a 10 game stretch. One one check swing from Cone. He doesn't go around as that kicks off the glove of Molina. Two balls and one strike. That's actually going to be ruled a foul ball as Jim Clayton made the ruling very late there. So one and two the count now. As Roy Ball kicks and delivers fastball on the outside corner, swung on and missed. And Cone is down on strike. Second strikeout of the outing for Roy Ball as he set down the first eight men he's faced. And that will bring in Brian Bistain with nobody on two outs as the number nine hitter in the lineup. Bistain, the second baseman, hitting 209, one home run, 14 RBIs. But he does bring a three game hitting streak into play today. First pitch, breaking ball on the outside corner. No balls and one strike here. Bustain hitting 333 over the last 10 games, including a pair of runs in that stretch as the 0-1 misses, so one ball and one strike. Roy Ball with a long look at now winds for the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball, this one's chopped weakly back to the mound. The pitcher will take it himself and flip on to first. Nine up, nine down to this point for Roy Ball as he works yet another 1-2-3 inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. 9-1-2, due up for Bridgeport when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Blue Crabs fans, grab your notebooks and your number two pencils and come on out for Games for Grades Night at Regency Furniture Stadium on Saturday night, September 16th, and celebrate going back to school with one last night out. It's also Catholic Night at the ballpark and the last leg of the 10th anniversary Lapel Pin Series giveaway for the first 1,000 fans in attendance. For more information or to get your tickets today, call 301-638-9788 or visit somdbluecrabs.com. Hey, Blue Crabs fans, this is Justin DeFreitas. For all my grocery and deli needs, I head over to Nick's of Clinton. Nick's of Clinton aims to offer a unique shopping alternative to the larger grocery stores while providing a family-oriented experience for all their customers. Nick's of Clinton, the official hot dog and sausage sponsor of Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate Eric Crozier on being voted by fans as the starting first baseman on the Blue Crabs 10-year team. Crozier was originally drafted in the 41st round of the 2000 MLB Amateur Draft by the Cleveland Indians and made his MLB debut in 2004 with the Toronto Blue Jays. While in the major leagues with the Blue Jays, he collected two home runs in 14 games in his 2004 debut season. He signed with Southern Maryland in 2008, hitting 265 with 13 home runs and 10 stolen bases that season. He appeared in 279 career games for the Blue Crabs, collecting 44 home runs and 149 RBIs in three seasons. Hey, this is Rob Carson, and you're listening to the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Ornatero back to the mound for the fourth as the 9-1-2 do up for Bridgeport in the inning. Angel Rosa leads it off here. He's 0 for 1 with a fly out. Rosa takes first pitch fastball. That comes inside. One ball and no strikes the count. Rosa flew out to right as out number one in the second inning. He came up with the bases loaded, nobody out, but failed to capitalize. 
Bridgeport would end up putting up one on a two out single. 1 0 fastball missed low, so two balls and no strikes as Fornatero kicks and delivers. Way out in front of a change up there as Rosa shoots that one at the Blue Crabs dugout. Two balls and one strike. Fornatero out of the windup, kicks and delivers. 2 1. This one's rolled up the middle. Garcia will field it there and fire across to first. Rodriguez will pick it out of the dirt and save an error for out number one. Tonight marks the 87th career start for Eric Fornatero. I mentioned his 15th of the season, 6th with the Blue Crabs. His last start came all the way back on August 19th. Against the Somerset Patriots. The Patriots took that one three to one. Fornatero was hit with his third straight loss as he threw three innings, allowed just one hit, but walked four, leading to two runs and two strikeouts. Myers swinging on the first pitch, shallow fly ball to right field. LJ hoes on the run, and he will get there to make the catch for out number two. A long run for Hose, but he gets underneath it keeps Myers off the base pass. Fornatero was a sixth round draft pick in the 2008 MLB draft by the St. Louis Cardinals out of Miami Dade College. Spent seven seasons in the Cardinals organization making his way through the organization up to the big league level in 2014. He appeared in eight games for St. Louis that season posting a 466 ERA and nine and two thirds innings. 0-1 to Luis Hernandez is shot through the left side of the infield and to Lozada in left. Hernandez is aboard with his second hit of the game. He's two for two, and he stands on first with two outs in the inning. So the number two hitter does his job and keeps the line moving, keeps the inning alive. For Jose Cuevas, the number three hitter. Cuevas one for two with an RBI single in the game to this point as he's swinging on the first pitch, fouled off of his foot in the box. He'll take a walk down the first baseline, try to stretch it out. He does have a shin guard on, but it looks like it missed below. So he will stretch out a little bit and try to reset. He's messing with the inside part of his front foot, his left foot. So for Bridgeport's sake and for the sake of Cuevas, I hope that he's okay. That has gone wrong in the past. We've seen Guys like Jermaine Dye in the major leagues break their foot, miss entire seasons with an injury like that one. So no balls in one strike. Cuevas appears to be okay as he digs back into the box, takes a curveball high. One ball and one strike. Sean Burroughs awaits on deck. The veteran bat in the cleanup spot for Bridgeport. 1-1 pitch, a breaking ball comes back across the inside corner. One ball and two strikes now on the third baseman, Cuevas. This might be a good time for Hernandez to get in motion. He does have 11 stolen bases on the year. As he has a decent lead at first, he is off on the 1-2. Fastball outside, the throw down, and the tag in time. As Bestain lays down the tag on a good throw from Luis Allen. Hernandez is caught stealing to end the half inning. So the caught stealing ends it as Fornatero allows no runs on one hit, no errors, and nobody left on base. Top of the lineup coming back up. Blue Crabs still looking for their first base runner when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Hey kids, this is Gary Brown, center fielder for the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. If you are under 12 years old, make sure to check out our Chick-fil-A Back Fin Buddies program. 
For just $15, kids will receive free admission to all seven Friday home games this season, as well as a commemorative back fin buddies lunchbox and baseball. For more information, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or call us at 301-638-9788. Did you know that the storm drains in Charles County lead to the Potomac River, Patuxent River, and the Chesapeake Bay? Those storm drains are not trash cans, and the water inside does not get filtered. The litter you throw on the street can end up in the same water you drink, fish, and play in. Start now and help keep Charles County beautiful by placing your trash in its proper place. To find out how you can help, visit www.charlescountymd.gov forward slash litterbug. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs want to congratulate Pat Osborne on being named the starting third baseman on the Blue Crabs' 10-year team. Osborne was originally drafted in the second round of the 2002 MLB Amateur Draft by the Cleveland Indians. He signed with Southern Maryland in 2008, where he hit 326 with 17 home runs and 106 RBIs in his debut season. In five years with the Blue Crabs, Osborne finished with a 297 batting average while hitting 39 home runs and collecting 225 RBIs in 386 career games with the team. Hey, this is Edwin Garcia, and you listen to Blue Crab Baseball Network. Top of the lineup, due up here in the bottom of the fourth. Jose Lozada will lead it off as Rainier Roy Ball continues his night on the mound. Nine up, nine down for the right-hander to this point as he's back to work with a fastball called strike on the outside corner. No balls and one strike. Lozada led off the bottom of the first with a ground out to second. Roy Ball winds and delivers. This one's rolled towards first. Burroughs is there. He'll take it to the base himself and the three unassisted. That'll bring in Edwin Garcia. Garcia. 0 for 1 as well as the entire Blue Crabs lineup is to this point. He followed suit of Lozada and grounded out to second. Roy Ball, 28 years old, out of Santiago, Cuba. He pitched three seasons in the Cuban National Series as he misses to Garcia again here. Two balls and no strikes. In his last season in Cuba, he posted an 8 and 4 record with a 4.63 ERA for Avispas de Santiago de Cuba. 2 0 fastball swung on and missed. Two balls and one strike now. When he did come over to the United States into affiliated ball, Roy Ball began with the San Francisco Giants as he jams Garcia here, fouled back. Two balls and two strikes. Two two pitch from Roy Ball. Fastball. That shot right back up the middle, and Garcia is going to be aboard the first base runner in the game for the Blue Crabs. As Edwin Garcia heads to first with one out. So Garcia breaks up the perfect game bid. Roy Ball took it three and a third. As LJ Hose will head to the plate. Roy Ball pitched three seasons in the Giants organization, reaching low A. 
for taking 2013 and 2014 off. He then joined the Philadelphia Phillies heading into double A. He pitched in 25 games for the Phillies double A, Redding, going 6-1 and one with a 166 ERA. He then struggled mightily in 2016 going 0-2 between Redding and Lehigh Valley, the AAA affiliate, with a 6.94 ERA in 19 games. That led to his release, signing with the Sioux City Explorers of the American Association to finish out the 2016 season. Counts even with LJ Hose, 1-1. One one. Hose flew out to left in his first at-bat. Roy Ball out of the stretch, kicks and delivers. Fastball outside, two balls and one strike. The single from Garcia put Roy Ball in the stretch for the first time tonight as the right-hander will... Fire over to first. Garcia gets dirty, but is back in safely. Sets it now at the shoulders. Another check on first as Edwin Garcia dives back in once more. No tag from Burroughs as Garcia was there well in time. Garcia does have 11 stolen bases on the season. He's 11 for 15. Roy Ball keeping an eye on him as he's got a decent lead at first. A check on Garcia for a third time in a row. And he's back in safely once more. Roy Ball turns his attention back to Hose now as the Blue Crabs right fielder will line one through the left side of the infield to Lambeau in left. A one out single for LJ Hose and the Blue Crabs are building a threat here in the fourth after not putting a man on base for the first three innings. Back to back hits with one out. Have the tying run on first. Edwin Garcia on second and Michael Snyder heading to the box. Snyder's 0 for 1. He flew out to right field in his first at bat. He comes into play today, 284, 23 home runs, 68 RBIs. As he's swinging on the first pitch here, popped up towards the Bluefish bullpen as Burroughs is giving chase. He'll run out of room as that one heads into the crowd. No balls and one strike on Snyder. The Blue Crabs are in quite a power slump out of, as of now. They have 100 home runs on the season, but the last one came last Sunday, eight days ago, the grand slam from Tucker Nathans. They have not hit a home run since. They were homerless in the four-game series on the road in Lancaster and then didn't hit one here at home against Sugar Lake. 0-1 pitch to Snyder. Fastball called strike, 0-2. Snyder would be the guy to break the streak, though. His 23 on the season rank him second in the Atlantic League, one behind Sean Halton at the top of the leaderboard. 0-2's hit out towards center. Myers coming in. Long run as he will make the catch on the run. And Snyder is retired for the second out. A long run for Myers, who was giving respect to Snyder in deep center. But he was able to track it down. And now it'll take a two-out hit to score a run for Southern Maryland as Devin Rodriguez is digging into the left-handed batter's box. Rodriguez 0 for 1. He battled to an 8 pitch at bat in his first time up, but Roy Ball won it on a fastball swung through. He 
was the first strikeout of the day for Royball. He has two to this point as he delivers a breaking ball. First pitch on the outside corner, 0-1. The middle infield for the Bluefish have shifted Snyder to pull ever so slightly. Cuevas, the third baseman, playing straight up as Snyder grounder towards short. He'll flip to Rosa at second, and the fielder's choice will end the inning. The 6-4 fielder's choice, and Roy Ball is out of the jam. No runs on two hits, no errors, and one left on base. We're headed to the fifth. Blue Crab still trail 2-0. Fornatero back to the mound. He'll face 3-4-5 when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Blue Crabs fans, what's more American than baseball in a barbecue cookout? Quite frankly, the two go together like Stars and Stripes, Rockets and Red Glare, and Liberty and the Pursuit of Happiness. So when you come to Regency Furniture Stadium's All-You-Can-Eat Picnic Pavilion, you get both at a great price. The best part is that groups from 20 to 400 plus can enjoy the picnic pavilion, and when you include this home run of a deal with the kids park, paddle boats, and on-field fun, you have a grand slam of an opportunity. Call today at 301-638-9788 to speak with a sales executive or visit somdbluecrabs.com for more information. This is Rick Meehan, Mayor of Ocean City, Maryland. For everyone who's put off planning a vacation this summer, I've got good news for you. Ocean City, Maryland is a procrastinator's paradise. We've got 10 miles of free beach, an amazing three-mile boardwalk, golf, fishing, shopping, dining, and free events seven nights a week, including fireworks, boardwalk light shows, dance parties, and movies right on the beach. It's not too late. Book a visit today at OCOcean.com. That's OCOcean.com. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate Travis Garcia on being named the starting shortstop on the Blue Crabs' 10-year team. Garcia was originally drafted by the New York Mets in the 21st round of the 2003 MLB Amateur Draft. He signed with Southern Maryland in 2008, their debut season, and in 2009 he hit 353 with 16 home runs and 63 RBIs. In five seasons with the Blue Crabs, Garcia finished with 59 home runs and 229 RBIs in 330 games. Hey, this is Patrick Palmero, and you're listening to Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Fornatero back on the mound to face the heart of the Bridgeport lineup. 3-4-5 to up in the inning as Fornatero's first pitch misses low and away. One ball and no strikes. Cuevas is one for two on the day. He was up to bat with a man on first and two outs last inning, but Luis Hernandez was caught stealing as Fornatero goes behind the back of Cuevas with a breaking ball there. That one slipped out of his hand and to the backstop. Two balls and no strikes. No intent behind that as it was a breaking ball. The 2-0 pitch, fastball, called strike. Two balls and one strike now. That was the 70th pitch of the game for Fornatero. He's thrown 37 strikes to 33 balls. As Cuevas with a high fly ball to deep left field. Lozada giving a look, but that one is well foul. Two and two the count now. Fornatero takes his time as Lozada retreats to his position. And now the 2-2 chopped down the third baseline. Palmero will go for the bare hand throw on the run. Not going to be in time as Cuevas is aboard with an infield single. Palmero was playing back, giving respect to the power of Cuevas. And that one was rolled very weakly, giving the third baseman no chance to make a play. That's the sixth hit of the game for Bridgeport through four innings. The main damage has come on the three walks that Fornatero has issued. Now to bring in Sean Burrows. He has one of those three walks. 0 for 1 
but walked to lead off the third inning. First pitch change up, misses low to Burroughs. One ball and no strikes. Burroughs in his 16th professional season, fourth with Bridgeport. In 39 games for the Bluefish last year, he had 369 with 16 doubles and 21 runs scored. He has the most big league experience on the Bluefish lineup, 528 major league games across seven seasons between the Tampa Bay Rays, Arizona Diamondbacks, and Minnesota Twins. He takes up and away three balls and no strikes now. Burroughs has played in 528 major league games, 278 average, 12 home runs, 143 RBIs, and 187 runs scored as he draws another walk, second of the game for him. A four-pitch walk, and Fornatero has worked himself into trouble here to start the fifth. So that will bring up the designated hitter, Jonathan Galvez. Galvez 0 for 2, but he does lead the Bridgeport team with 16 home runs and 69 RBIs. The infield in double play depth as Fornatero gets a fastball across the inside corner on the first pitch. No balls and one strike. Galvez struck out looking in his first at bat. He flew out to right field in his second. Jams himself here as this one's flared out towards shallow left. Garcia will drift back from the shortstop position and make the catch for out number one in the inning. So Fornatero gives up the single in the walk, but responds with the pop-up. So one down and Fornatero is one out, or one ground ball away from getting out of the inning. Lambeau's one for one, though. He singled and scored a run, drew a walk in the third. First pitch called strike. No balls and one strike here. fouled off. No balls and two strikes. Tarot now sets for the 0-2. This one shot back up the middle. A diving stop from Bastain. He'll flip to Garcia on to first. Not in time for the double play. But a great stop from Bastain. Cuts down Burroughs on his way to second. So the four to six fielder's choice has Lambeau aboard, but two outs in the inning. Molina digging in now. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. He was stranded at third in the second inning. Fornatero could dance out of danger here once again. He's already stranded six base runners. Looking to make it eight as he delivers a curveball here. Called strike 0 and 1. Craig Stem. Begins to loosen up in the Blue Crabs bullpen as Fornatero kicks and delivers 0 1 up and in. Molina has to lean out of the way. One ball and one strike. Molina in his fourth season in the Atlantic League. He debuted back in 2013 with the Lancaster Barnstormers. 
for the two seasons with Southern Maryland. He's played in the major leagues in four separate seasons, 2007 with the White Sox and Orioles, with the Mets in 08, the Red Sox in 2010, and the Yankees in 11. Ground ball towards short. Garcia backhands, fires across to first. A one hopper to Rodriguez is in time as Garcia with a good play ends the inning and Fornatero strands two more. He gives up no runs on one hit, no errors, and two men left on base. Patrick Palmero leads it off when we come back on the bottom of the fifth here on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Blue Crabs fans, the Blue Crabs are celebrating their 10th anniversary season in 2017, and they can't do it without you. Join the team all season long for special giveaways and ongoing 10-year tributes with group tickets starting at just $10. Regency Furniture Stadium's spacious and modern amenities include 16 luxury suites, an all-you-can-eat picnic pavilion with a great view overlooking left field, and the Legends Club, which can host your event of up to 160 people for a game. Call today at 301-638-9788 or visit us online at somdbluecrabs.com for more information. Blue Crabs fans, Bocelli Pizza, known for having the best pizza in town, is offering you 20% off on your order. That's right, 20% off. Just use code 779 to take advantage of this limited time offer. Bocelli offers pizzas, pastas, subs, wings, salads, and more. You can place your order for pickup or delivery online at V-O-C-E-L-L-I pizza.com or call 301-705-5858 as well as visiting Bocelli Pizza at their Waldorf location, 11850 Park Waldorf Lane. Bocelli Pizza, delivering classic Italian quality. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs want to congratulate Brian Barton on being named a starting outfielder on the Blue Crabs 10-year team. Barton was originally drafted by the Los Angeles Dodgers in the 38th round of the 2000 MLB Amateur Draft. Barton made his MLB debut in 2008 with the St. Louis Cardinals and also appeared in the majors in 2009 with the Atlanta Braves. Barton signed with Southern Maryland in 2011 when he hit 304 with 12 home runs and 17 stolen bases in his debut season with the team. Barton spent four years with the Blue Crabs, collecting 26 home runs, 146 RBIs, and 53 stolen bases while appearing in 257 games with the team. Hey, this is Zach Wilson, and you're listening to the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Patrick Palmero digs in to lead it off here in the bottom of the fifth as he's swinging on the first pitch. A fly ball out towards center. Darby Myers comes charging in, and he'll make the play. One pitch and one out here in the fifth. That'll bring in Luis Allen. Allen's 0 for 1 with a fly out back in the third inning. At the time, the Blue Crabs were still hitless. They were hitless all the way through three and a third before Edwin Garcia finally broke that up. But Roy Ball is continuing to dominate on the mound as he gets across another first pitch strike. No balls in one strike. Fastball off the plate away. One ball and one strike. Roy Ball has been effective to this point. That was just his 51st pitch. Allen's 
steps out to reset as Stem continues to warm up in the bullpen. And the 1-1 one -one off the plate away. Two balls and one strike. Allen on the season, 246 batting average. Four home runs, 33 RBIs. Two one from Roy Ball shot back up the middle. That's going to get through into center, and Luis Allen is aboard with a one out single, the third hit of the game for Southern Maryland. pitch to Cone misses outside one ball and no strikes Cone struck out in his first at bat today one oh misses as well as Roy Ball falls into a hitter's count a very rare situation for him on the day as he's thrown just 14 balls to 41 strikes in this to this point. 2-0 to Cone, swung on and fouled back. Two balls and one strike. the 2-1 fouled back two balls and two strikes the number nine hitter Brian Bistain awaits on deck anything but a double play ball and he will get his shot in the inning. Fights it off to stay alive as he continues to battle with Roy Ball. Try to get that pitch count up and potentially get this starter out of the game. He's at 58 pitches. The Blue Crabs would love to be able to get to the bullpen relatively soon here as Roy Ball's had their number all day. back the 2-2 two, two once more as he continues to fight Roy Ball here in the at-bat. He's fouled off four straight pitches as a 2-2 two, two count preparing for the seventh pitch. Two once more swung on and missed, and Cone is down on strikes. The third strikeout of the game for Roy Ball, and second out here in the fifth. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Brian Bistain. Bistain 0 for 1. Grounded back to the pitcher in his first step bat as he's swinging on a breaking ball here. No balls and one strike. Not much speed in first with Allen as Bistain would have to find a gap with a little help to allow the catcher to score. He has just a step lead off of first as the 0-1 fastball elevated 
Swung on and missed. No balls and two strikes. Sean Burroughs holding Allen at first. In lieu of the recent Little League World Series. It's never out of question to mention Burroughs' incredible run when he played in the Little League World Series. The only pitcher in U.S. history to throw two no-hitters. 0-2 pitch from Roy Ball. Cold strike three on a fastball down the middle. And back-to-back -back strikeouts in the fifth inning here. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left on base. We're headed to the sixth. Blue Crabs still scoreless here on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Your Southern Maryland Blue Crabs have won the first half Freedom Division Championship, clinching a berth in the 2017 Atlantic League playoffs. Make sure to reserve your spot to witness history as the Blue Crabs go after their first Atlantic League championship. To get your playoff tickets today, call us at 301-638-9788 or go online to somdbluecrabs.com. Be sure to join us at select Saturday home games throughout the season as the Blue Crabs light up the Southern Maryland night sky with post-game Saturday night firework extravaganzas. For more information on this event or any other exciting events throughout the season, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or call us at 301 638 9788. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate John Ramostello on being named a starting outfielder on the Blue Crabs 10 year team. Ramostello was originally drafted by the New York Yankees in the 35th round of the 2000 MLB Amateur Draft. He signed with Southern Maryland in their debut 2008 season, where he hit 276 with 15 home runs, 67 RBIs, and 14 stolen bases. In two seasons with the Blue Crabs, Ramostello hit 37 career home runs, 125 RBIs, and stole 29 bases in 222 career games with the team. This is Ryan Wiggins, and you're listening to the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Osney Gein, Gein digging in to lead off here against the new pitcher for Southern Maryland. As the day is done for Fornatero, Craig Stem, the right-hander, will come in and take over pitching duties as he delivers first pitch called strike 0-1. Stem making his 24th appearance. He's... 2-2 two two with a 4.08 ERA as he kicks and delivers fastball off the plate away. One ball and one strike. The right-hander works at a stretch, sets at the belt, and now delivers. Change up. Key and way out in front of that one. One ball and two strikes now. ready for the one two as he kicks and delivers change up Gian fights it off and stays alive Two on its way once more to the number eight hitter. It's a breaking ball. Guillen fights it off down the third baseline. That one stays fair and heads to the corner. Guillen on his way to second. Throw from Lozada not in time as Osney Guillen slides in safely with a leadoff double here in the sixth. So 
Stem gives up a base hit to the first man he sees. And Bridgeport threatening again here. They already hold a 2-0 lead. As Ian in scoring position with nobody out. The number nine hitter, Angel Rosa, digging in. We saw Bridgeport lay down a sacrifice bunt earlier in the game in this situation. But Rosa swinging away behind a fastball here. No balls and one strike. Stem on the season against Bridgeport, making his fourth appearance. He's yet to factor in a decision. 368 with three earned runs in 7.1 innings. The 0-1 breaking ball swung on and fouled off the other way. Balls and two strikes now on the nine hitter leadoff man. Darby Myers awaits on deck, the leading hitter in the Atlantic League. Stem with a look at second, now kicks for the 0 2. It's weakly rolled up the middle. Garcia will have to fire quickly. He does. And I believe it's in time, says the first base umpire, Brian DeBrower. And Rosa is down. But he does advance the runner, Osney Gian. The Brower has actually ruled Rosa safe. So Rosa picks up the single. I couldn't quite see De Brower from where I'm sitting. He was blocked by camera in my way at the time. So DeBrower rules him safe and Myers comes up, swinging on the first pitch, fly ball out to center. Guillen will head back to third. He'll tag and score easily. A sacrifice fly from Darby Myers and Osney Guillen extends the Bridgeport lead 3-0. The score here in the top of the sixth. the number two hitter, Luis Hernandez. The man on first, one out. Stem sets at the belt for the first pitch to Hernandez. Fastball misses up and away, one ball and no strikes. So Bridgeport able to capitalize on another leadoff double. That's the second leadoff double for them in the game. Myers let off the top of the first the same way. Stem ready for the 1-0. Runner off from first as Hernandez fights this one off to the left side out of play, 1-1. One one. Hernandez 2-2. Two for two. He's singled twice. Also has a sacrifice bunt on his line for the day. Shortstop in his second season with Bridgeport. He hit 283 last year. Batting average has dropped a little this year, 271 coming into play today. Stem readies for the 1 1 pitch. A look at first, now kicks and delivers. Change up off the plate away, two balls and one strike. Jose Cuevas awaits on deck. Cuevas, two for three in the game as well. Rounder up the middle, Bistain to Garcia, on to Rodriguez at first. A 4-6-3 double play, and Stem is out of the inning. He does give up the one run, though, on two hits. No errors, nobody left on base. Bridgeport extends their lead out to three. Blue Crabs looking to snap the scoreless streak when they come back. Top of the lineup in the sixth here on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Every Tuesday night is Silver Sluggers Night with the Blue Crabs, sponsored by the Cancer and Blood Disorders Treatment Center. 
Membership to the Silver Sluggers starts at just $25, and all members will receive tickets to every Tuesday home game, including our 4th of July Red, White, and Blue Crab celebration, as well as a special Silver Sluggers t-shirt. For more information, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com, or you can call us at 301-638-9788. Celebrate the history of our national pastime at the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum in Cooperstown. See priceless treasures that would bring your baseball memories to life. Cooperstown is where you, your family, and your friends can relive baseball's greatest moments and honor the all-time greats of the game. Plan your family visit today at BaseballHall.org. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate Jeremy Owens on being named a starting outfielder on the Blue Crabs 10-year team. Owens was originally drafted by the San Diego Padres in the 8th round of the 1998 MLB Amateur Draft. He signed with Southern Maryland for their debut season in 2008, and in 2009 he collected 28 home runs and 80 RBIs while stealing 15 bases. Owens spent seven seasons playing for the Blue Crabs, compiling 105 home runs, 340 RBIs, and 98 stolen bases, while appearing in a Blue Crabs record 737 career games. This is Austin, captain of your tie-dye crew, and you're listening to the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Jose Lozada digs in, the leadoff hitter in the lineup, and the leadoff hitter here in the inning. As he's swinging on the first pitch, that one's popped up towards right field. Osney Guillen will come in and make the catch. One pitch, one out here in the sixth. As Roy Ball... Continues to dominate on the mound. He's allowed just three hits to this point. This man, the first of the game, Edwin Garcia, as he singled back in the fourth, one for two. The scoreless inning streak for the Blue Crabs stands at 21. As they look to get the offense going any way they can, Garcia takes the fastball in the inside corner, 0-1. They were shut out in back-to-back -back games by the Sugarland Skeeters. A seven-inning doubleheader and then a nine-inning game yesterday. Sixteen there and then five to start this game. They're 21 straight scoreless, their highest of the season. 0-2 pitch on its way from Roy Ball. Fastball just misses off the corner away. No balls and two strikes now. L.J. Hose awaits on deck. He's also one for two. One, two, same spot, same result as Roy Ball begging for that call on the outside corner. Still won't get it. Two balls and two strikes now. The right-hander now winds for the 2-2 pitch to Garcia. It's a fastball. Fouled straight back as this one is right across the heart of the plate. And Garcia fights it off to stay alive. 69th pitch of the game for Roy Ball. So the 70th will be on its way. The 2-2 once more. Kicks and delivers breaking ball. This one's fouled right back at us but hits the screen. And stays in play. 2-2 two and two remains the count. No action. 
action to speak of in the Bridgeport bullpen as Roybal has been dominant to this point. Garcia with a pop up here to short. Hernandez drifts towards the bag and he will make the play. Two up, two down here in the inning. Most innings Roy Ball has thrown in a game is six. He's done that on four separate occasions in his nine games with Bridgeport thus far. He's working on back-to-back -back six inning outings though. He's won back-to-back -back games. A shutout of the Lancaster Barnstormers on August 17th. He allowed just one hit in that matchup. And then against New Britain on the 23rd in his last outing, gave up one run on three hits, walked three and struck out nine season high in strikeouts for him as he threw six innings in that win. Four to one the final there. First pitch to Hose was a cold strike. Second pitch fastball fouled back. No balls and two strikes. fouled back as he fights to stay alive here in the inning. Roybal's thrown just 11 pitches in the inning, but he appears to be in some discomfort on the mound as the manager, Luis Rodriguez, and the athletic trainer, Caitlin Rickliffs, out to check on the starter. Not what you want to see if you're Bridgeport, after the way Roy Ball has been pitching as of late and through the first five and two thirds in this game. Can't quite see what's going on with him. He appears to be in a lot of discomfort and a lot of distress on the mound though. As somebody jogging in now from the Bridgeport bullpen. It appears that the day may be done for Roy Ball. And it is, as he will have to exit due to injury. He gets through five and two-thirds absolutely dominant. But he will have to exit this game. So the day is done for Rainier Royball. He goes five and two-thirds scoreless. We'll get you... The details on the new reliever when we come back on the Bluegrass Baseball Network.
Chesapeake Beach, Maryland is home to the Chesapeake Beach Water Park. Come join them for an afternoon of splash and fun in the sun with their eight water slides, fountains, waterfalls, lazy river, kids activity pool, and more. Beat the heat with daily cabana rentals, swim lessons, birthday parties, Friday night slides under the stars, character days on certain Mondays, or even rent the whole park for a private party. The on-site Beachcomber Grill offers a full service menu as well. For more information, details, special events calendar, park dates and hours, to purchase your tickets, season passes, or make reservations, visit their website at www.chesapeakebeachwaterpark.com. Blue Crabs fans, every season we can't do it without you. So on Sunday, September 17th, for the regular season finale, it's Fan Appreciation Day. The Blue Crabs will be auctioning off their alternate blue jerseys to benefit the Booster Club, and as always, there will be a pre-game team autograph session and post-game kids run the bases. Stop by the Regency Furniture Stadium box office, call 301-638-9788, or visit somdbluecrabs.com today to get your tickets. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate Jim Ed Warden on being named the closer on the Blue Crabs 10-year team. Warden was originally drafted by the Cleveland Indians in the sixth round of the 2001. MLB Amateur Draft. He signed with Southern Maryland in 2009, where he picked up 13 saves with a 1.12 ERA in 17 appearances. Over six seasons with the team, Warden appeared in 284 games and collected a Blue Crabs record 134 saves. Craig Stem back on the mound for the seventh as his first pitch of the inning to Jose Cuevas missed low and away. So one ball and no strikes. Cuevas two for three on the day, a pair of singles as Stem gets a fastball across the outside corner, one and one. Stem enters his second inning of work as he allowed a leadoff double last inning. Sacrifice fly from Darby Myers allowed Guillen to come across and score. Fornatero had a rough outing to watch, but ended up leaving, allowing just two runs. He worked five innings, gave up six hits, walked five batters. Gave up just the two earned, struck out one as well, as he danced out of danger repeatedly, stranding eight base runners across his five innings. One two from Stem to Cuevas is fouled back out of play, and the count will hold where it is. One two once more. This one's popped straight up towards third. Palmero drifting towards the line. 
He's in foul territory now as he will camp underneath it and make the play. One out in the inning as that will bring up the storybook that is cleanup hitter Sean Burrows. Burrows, so many things you can talk about with him. I mentioned earlier the Little League World Series hero as in 1992 he led Long Beach, California to a championship back-to-back -back no hitters. The only American-born pitcher to throw back-to-back -back no hitters in the Little League World Series. Stem misses first pitch low and inside one ball and no strikes. Burroughs then continued his stardom, working his way to a first-round pick, ninth overall in the 1998 MLB draft by the San Diego Padres. He appeared in the Futures game in the year 2000, was the MVP of the MLB Futures game, and later in that 2000 year, won an Olympic gold medal at the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games, representing the United States One one misses low and away. Two balls and one strike. Burroughs was tabbed as a can't miss prospect, but never ended up quite developing the power that he was projected to. We mentioned earlier he did end up with seven seasons in the big leagues as Stem gets across the 2 2 pitch. We've got four days with Bridgeport, so the Storybook that is Sean Burroughs will continue as we go on, but we'll leave it at his little league and prep accomplishments for now. Stem goes with a 2 2 changeup. That one misses low and inside. Three balls and two strikes to count on Burroughs. He's walked twice already in the game, as Stem now in danger of making it a third. Right-hander on the mound shakes off the catcher. Burrows calls time and steps out. Digs back in now as Sim Stett for the payoff pitch. He kicks and delivers. This one's rolled down the first baseline as that one appears to have caught Burrows on the foot. He hobbles around down the first baseline trying to reset. Second time we've seen that from the Bluefish batters here today. Burroughs appears to be okay though as he stretches out his right foot a little more. That's his lead foot in the left-handed batter's box. But he'll dig back in. Ready for the payoff pitch once more. Stem winds and delivers. Breaking ball swung on and missed, and Burroughs is down on strikes for out number two here in the top of the seventh. Pitching has not been the problem for the Blue Crabs to this point. They have allowed a lot of hits, eight through six and two-thirds, walked five batters as well, but they've given up just three runs. The issue is the line score on the bottom of the scoreboard no runs on three hits to this point. Stem ready for the first pitch to Jonathan Galvez as that one misses low. One ball and no strikes. Galvez 0 for 3. A strikeout, a flyout, and a popout to this point. Stem ready for the 1-0 pitch. It's a breaking ball that comes back across the inside corner. One ball and one strike. Stem making his 21st relief appearance. He started three games for the Blue Crabs as well. He's working after a scoreless outing two days ago against Sugarland. He threw one scoreless inning, picking up a strikeout, a 1-2-3 inning in that one. 1-1 one, one fouled off as count will go to 1-2 and two now. So Stem one pitch away. From working a 1 2 3 seventh of the inning. He sets at the belt, kicks and delivers change up, swung on and missed. And back to back strikeouts in the top of the seventh. A 1 2 3 inning for Craig Stem. He allows no runs on no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. 
four, five, six, due up. Michael Snyder leads it off as the Blue Crabs look to snap the scoreless streak at 22 innings when we come back here on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Hey, fans, be sure to join us every Thursday home game for Foster's Grill Wings and Beer Night. For just $30, you can enjoy a ticket to the game, as well as two hours of all-you-can-eat Foster's Wings and all-you-can-drink beer. The event takes place every Thursday home game throughout the season from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in our Legends Club. For more information on this or any other exciting offers throughout the season, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or call us at 301-638-9788. What's better than watching a Blue Crabs baseball game? Staying after to watch a classic film for free. After every Friday home game, the Blue Crabs will show a select film on the big board and fans are invited to stick around. Pack a blanket, grab some popcorn, and enjoy. Every week is a different movie, so come out each week to see what's showing. For more information on this or any of our exciting events throughout the season, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or you can call us at 301-638-9788. Dr. Milu and the Courteous and professional staff at Cancer and Blood Disorders Treatment Center in Waldorf want you to know that for cases of cancer and blood disorders such as anemia, leukemia, and lymphoma, you don't have to travel all the way to D.C. or Baltimore to get high-quality, compassionate care close to home. Established in 1995, Cancer and Blood Disorders Treatment Center offers expertise, experience, and the highest standards needed for successful treatment of cancer and blood disorders. Dr. Milu is excited to be a part of the Blue Crabs family as the new sponsor of the Silver Sluggers program and games for the 2017 season. For more information or to schedule a consultation, call 301-638-1007 or visit cancerandblooddisorderscenter.com. it off here in the bottom of the seventh as the Blue Crabs look to spark the offense some way. Snyder swinging on the first pitch behind a fastball. No balls and one strike. We barely got to introduce Vinny Pistano as the new pitcher. He threw just one pitch after coming in with Rainier Roy Ball exiting due to injury. His one pitch was swung on and missed by LJ Hose, so he's credited with the strikeout. Roy Ball went five and two thirds. He allowed just three hits and struck out four in his scoreless outing. Showed a little bit of discomfort after an 0-2 pitch to LJ was fouled off and then immediately was pulled from the game. Castano came on and got the out and now is ahead of Snyder one and two as the designated hitter took a breaking ball on the inside corner. Pistano in his 11th season of professional baseball, first in the Atlantic League. Snyder with a high fly ball out towards left, but Lambeau's going to have room in left field as he will make the play for the first out here in the inning. Pistano, one of 12 players on Bridgeport with MLB experience, one of five pitchers that have pitched at the major league level. He spent six years at the big league level, first reaching with the Cleveland Indians. First pitch to Devin Rodriguez. That's flared out towards shallow right. Long run for Osney Gee, and he lays out. Not going to get there as Rodriguez will head to second, a stand-up double as Rodriguez looks to break the slump. He's in scoring position with two outs. The Blue Crabs come into this inning, 22 straight scoreless innings after back-to-back -back shutouts. They look to get some sort of offense going, and it might just be a flare single off the bat of Rodriguez that could get it going. 
is in the Bermuda Triangle between first, second, and right field. Guillen tried to lay out and get it, but instead allowed the double. So Rodriguez stands on second in scoring position for Patrick Palmero. His 15th double of the season as Castano will step off and reset. Castano making his 19th appearance for the Bluefish. He's 0 1 with a 378 as Palmero swinging on the fastball behind 0 and 1. The right hander has 19 strikeouts in 19 innings. He's allowed just 18 hits and three walks as well. This is the fourth time the Blue Crabs have seen Pistano. They've hit him well. As Palmero takes outside one ball and one strike. In three innings, Pistano has given up three runs, all of them earned. On two hits, one walk, and a home run to this point. He sets at the belt for the 1 1 pitch, stares down Rodriguez, now delivers. Breaking ball swung on and missed, 1 and 2 the count now. Pistano with a long look in at his catcher Molina now sets at the belt for the one two. A look at Rodriguez now kicks and delivers fastball swung on and missed. Palmero is down on strikes. He's now 0 for 3 on the day. So Pistano one out away from stranding the runner in scoring position. It's just the second blue crab to reach scoring position. To this point, Edwin Garcia was the other back in the fourth. It'll be on Luis Allen to cash in the run. Allen one for two, a single and a fly out to this point. Castano's first pitch to Allen, a fastball, swung on, fouled straight back as Luis was right on top of that one. Breaking news from the Atlantic League. All-star outfielder for the Somerset Patriots, Justin Pacioli, has just had his contract purchased by the Boston Red Sox. He's the 12th player from Somerset to join an MLB team in this 2017 season. 0-1 pitch, misses outside. One ball and one strike the count on out. Stano gives a look at Rodriguez, now kicks for the 1-1. Allen shoots this one out towards center. Myers drifting to his right will make the catch and end the inning. Pistano works around the double. He allows no runs on one hit, no errors, one man left on base. Stem will head back to the mound as we head to the top of the eighth. Lambeau leads it off when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Shopping for groceries in a clean, friendly store? That's smart. Shopping for groceries in a clean, friendly store and saving some money while you're doing it? That's wise. At Wise Markets, you'll find all your favorite brands at prices you'll appreciate. That means more meat for less money, more dinner for less dinero, and more milk for less moolah. Stop by a Wise Market today. Eat better, spend less, that's wise. Your Southern Maryland Blue Crabs have won the first half Freedom Division Championship, clinching a berth in the 2017 Atlantic League playoffs. Make sure to reserve your spot to witness history as the Blue Crabs go after their first Atlantic League championship. To get your playoff tickets today, call us at 301-638-9788 or go online to somdbluecrabs.com. 
At their location at 173 St. Patrick's Drive, Grill 13 makes it easy to enjoy their Irish fare and great drink specials every day. At Grill 13, they believe in good food, good drinks, good people, coupled with extraordinary customer service and cleanliness to make you feel part of the family. Whether lunch, dinner, or a round of drinks after the long workday, visiting Grill 13 is always a great experience. Feel free to come relax with family, friends, or even fly solo with a premium cocktail, our handmade pulled pork, fresh wings, bangers and mash, or any one of their tasty dishes. Then indulge in one of Grill 13's famous premium handmade sugar lips desserts. Call 301-645-2983 or visit grillwithane13.com. Furniture Stadium as Craig Stem back to work here. Delivers first pitch outside, one ball and no strikes. Stem on for his third inning of work. He worked the sixth and the seventh, giving up one in the sixth inning, but a one, two, three, seventh as he gets across a fastball to Andrew Lambeau, one and one now. Stem now ready for the 1-1. One, one. Infield shifted against the lefty Lambeau. That one takes a nasty hop, but Devin Rodriguez able to recover as he saves himself and makes the play. Three unassisted there. That one skipped off of the lip of the grass and up at the face of Rodriguez, who stabbed at it and spun to avoid any damage and headed to the base. That'll bring in Gustavo Molina. Molina's over two with a walk to this point. As Stem delivers outside, one ball and no strikes. Look around the Atlantic League scoreboard. The New Britain Bees defeated Sugarland three to two. Sugarland had to travel to New Britain after being unable to get back to Texas due to the hurricane that hit. They are still the home team, technically, though, in that series, but New Britain takes the win 3-2. to two. As Stem delivers the 2-0 pitch here, fouled back, two balls and one strike. Rest of the Atlantic League scoreboard, York Revolution trail the Long Island Ducks 4-3 to three at Bethpage Ballpark in the top of the seventh. And the Lancaster Barnstormers and Somerset Patriots are locked into a one-to-one -one battle in the bottom of the seventh. The 2-1 misses outside. Three balls and one strike to count now. On the former Blue Crab catcher Molina. This one's fouled off, and the count runs full here on Molina. Payoff pitch, curveball swung on and missed, and Molina is down on strikes. The third strikeout for Stem, fourth of the day for the Blue Crabs pitching staff. As Stem now two outs in the eighth. He 
set down seven in a row. Stem sets now and delivers the first pitch to Osney Gian. Swung on, fouled back. Oh, and one. Gian's one for two. A walk, a double, and a run scored. He doubled to lead off the sixth inning down the third baseline. Came around to score on a sacrifice fly from Darby Myers. Stem sets now for the 0-1. Breaking ball misses low and inside. One ball and one strike. Reddy's now and delivers breaking ball. That one misses low and in as Guillen hops out of the way. Two and one the count now. Bridgeport three runs on eight hits, no errors. Blue Crabs no runs on four hits, no errors. As Guillen chops this one to third, Palmero is there. He'll fire across to first. Another one, two, three inning for Stem. He's set down eight in a row as he heads back to the dugout, hoping the Blue Crabs can get some offense going in the bottom of the eighth. Cone, Bistain, and top of the lineup, Lozada, when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Be sure to join us at select Saturday home games throughout the season as the Blue Crabs light up the Southern Maryland night sky with post-game Saturday night firework extravaganzas. For more information on this event or any other exciting events throughout the season, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or call us at 301-638-9788. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs want to congratulate Ryan Mulhern on being named the designated hitter on the Blue Crabs 10-year team. Mulhern was originally drafted by the Cleveland Indians in the 11th round of the 2003 Amateur Draft. He signed with Southern Maryland in 2011 when he hit 348 with 10 home runs in his first season with the team. In two seasons with the Blue Crabs, Mulhern collected 19 home runs, 65 RBIs, and scored 53 runs while appearing in 80 games. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to thank Apple Spice Junction for their partnership for the 2017 season. Be sure to check out Apple Spice's unique box delivery services, with breakfast offerings ranging from pastries and fruit to gourmet eggs and seasoned potatoes. Or you can check out Apple Spice for lunch, with sandwiches featuring freshly baked bread, fine meats, cheeses, and crisp veggies. Or you can try one of their homemade soups, healthy salad, or freshly baked treats. Ask how they can cater your next event. For more information, you can visit them online at www.applespice.com or visit their location at 6750 Crane Highway, located in La Plata. This is Jesse Beal, and you're listening to the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Zach Cohn digs in to lead off in the bottom of the eighth against the second reliever of the game to work for Bridgeport. Right-hander Zach Groats digs in. His first pitch fastball swung on, fouled back, no balls and one strikes. Grotz making his 59th appearance of the season. He's 2-3 and three with a 4.17 ERA. He also has two saves on the year as well. 0-1 breaking ball. Called strike on the outside corner. No balls and two strikes. Stem 
0-2 shot back up the middle over the head of the pitcher and into center field. And Zach Cohn is aboard with a leadoff single, hoping to spark the Blue Crabs offense. That's their fifth hit of the game. So Cohn is aboard the First leadoff man to reach base for the Blue Crabs tonight as number nine hitter Brian Bistain digs in. Bistain is 0 for 2. A ground out to the pitcher and a walk to this point as he's swinging on the first pitch, fouled straight back, 0 and 1. Bistain, hit, Bistain excuse me, headed into play with a 209 batting average. Brought a three-game hitting streak into this one, but in danger of losing that as he takes a change up on the inside corner. No balls and two strikes. The 0-2 breaking ball. This one's rolled towards second. Hernandez, the shortstop, will field it at the base. Flip to Rosa on to first 6-4-3 double play. And Grotz rolls a double play ball and now base is empty two outs heading to the top of the lineup as Jose Lozada will have to work some magic and spark a two out rally he heads to the plate 0 for 3 he lost an 8 game hitting streak with an 0 for 3 outing yesterday Lozada looking to snap his 0 for 6 outing as he fights off first pitch. Oh, and won the count. Edwin Garcia has one of the five hits. He awaits on deck should Lozada reach base. As Grotz out of the windup kicks and delivers. This one shot the other way. Sinking line drive. That's going to get down in front of Lambeau and left. And Lozada does extend the inning with a two-out single. That will bring Garcia into the box and bring the tying run, L.J. Hose, into the on-deck circle. Garcia won for three. He broke up the perfect game bid in the fourth with a one-out single. He's grounded out and popped out around the single, though. As he looks to get something going here, Lozada on first. And first pitch fastball from Grotz catches the outside corner. No balls and one strike. If Garcia can reach, LJ Hose would be the tying run. He awaits in the on deck circle as Garcia with a fly ball out to shallow left. Lambo heading towards the line and coming in will make the catch to retire the side. So Grotz allows two hits in the inning, but a double play helps him get out of it. He allows no runs on two hits, no errors, one man left on base. We're headed to the ninth. Sam Runyon on his way in from the bullpen. 9-1-2 due up when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Hey, everyone. This is Sam Runyon from the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. Join us at the park every Wednesday home game to enjoy Wednesday pub grub night. Every Wednesday will feature $3 Coors Light cans, $5 draft beer, and $5 pub grub specials. For more information on this or any other exciting events throughout the season, please visit our website at somdbluecrabs.com or call us at 301-638-9788. Cancer and Blood Disorders Treatment Center in Waldorf is your new sponsor of the Silver Sluggers program on Tuesday nights all season long. Silver Sluggers members receive tickets to every Tuesday night game, including the 4th of July, a commemorative t-shirt, they get to play baseball bingo during the games, and much more. Guests can even learn more about how CBDTC can help you at their table located on the concourse every Tuesday night. For more information on the Silver Sluggers, visit somdbluecrabs.com. And for more information on the wonderful life-saving work that Dr. Milo and his staff do, call them today at 301-638-1007. Cancer and Blood Disorders Treatment Center. High quality, compassionate care, close to home. 
the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs would like to congratulate Jim Ed Warden on being named the closer on the Blue Crabs 10-year team. Warden was originally drafted by the Cleveland Indians in the sixth round of the 2001 MLB Amateur Draft. He signed with Southern Maryland in 2009 where he picked up 13 saves with a 1.12 ERA in 17 appearances. Over six seasons with the team, Warden appeared in 284 games and collected a Blue Crabs record 134 saves. Hey, this is Cody Epley, and you're listening to Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Sam Runyon, the new pitcher for the Blue Crabs, he comes on after three strong innings of work from right-hander Craig Stem and goes to work immediately with a fastball called strike 0 and 1. Runyon, a right-hander making his 43rd appearance of the season. He's 3 and 2 with a 496. He has a save as well as he gets Rosa swinging on the second pitch, no balls and two strikes. Craig Stem through 3 innings out of the bullpen in relief of Fornatero. He allowed just two hits back in the sixth inning. One run struck out three before retiring the last eight batters he faced. The 0-2 miss, so now Runyon will ready for the 1-2 pitch. He sets Above his head, now kicks and delivers. Breaking ball, that one dips low and outside. Two and two the count. Runyon on the season against Bridgeport. Making his sixth appearance. He struggled against the Bluefish to this point. Giving up six runs, five earned in 6.1 innings. He's 0-2 with a 7-11 ERA. The 2-2 to Rosa, swung on, flown out towards right. L.J. Hose will camp underneath that one and make the catch for the first out here in the ninth. Runyon hoping to keep it at three and give the Blue Crabs a chance to tie it up. The 3-4-5 due up in the bottom half of the inning. So the game not over for Southern Maryland yet. We've seen them rally late in many games this season. Runyon had a scoreless outing in the doubleheader, game two of the doubleheader on Saturday. The outing before that on Friday struggled, giving up two runs in one and a third inning. But prior to that, had five straight scoreless outings. Runyon readies now for the first pitch to the leadoff man, Darby Myers, as he swings and misses on the first one. No balls. And two strikes, excuse me, that was the second pitch. Time was called after the ball rolled out. 0-2 oh, fastball swung on and missed. Runyon blows Myers away here. And two up, two down for the hard throwing right hander to start the ninth. Now to bring in the number two hitter, Luis Hernandez. Hernandez is two for three, a pair of singles and an RBI that came back in the second. His bases loaded infield single allowed Andrew Lambeau to score. High fly ball towards deep right center. LJ Hose heading back will stick his glove up just short of the track. It will hit off of the heel of his glove and roll to the wall. Hernandez on his way to second. He'll stop there, as that will likely be ruled an E9. Hose was underneath it, but was unable to make the catch. And now a runner in scoring position. So after 
after the miscue, Hernandez is on second, and the number three hitter coming up, Jose Cuevas, is two for four with a pair of singles. Runyon kicks and delivers. Breaking ball catches the outside corner. No balls and one strike. They give Hernandez credit for a hit, a double there on that one. So he stands on second with a two out double as Runyon delivers a breaking ball, low and away. One ball and one strike. I imagine LJ Hose would disagree with the ruling as I know he feels that he should have caught that as he was walking back to his position in right field after throwing the ball in. He was staring at his glove the whole way. Runyon sets for the 1-1. One -one, kicks and delivers. This one's chopped towards third. Palmero will backhand but in foul territory as home plate umpire Jim Clayton having a little bit of an issue behind the plate. I'm not quite sure what happened with Clayton there to be honest. The entire umpire crew, Brian DeBrower and Donnie Meyer, as well as trainer for the Blue Crabs, Mitch Rosenthal, will all come out for a look at the home plate umpire as they try to figure out what happened. Well, that happens. I'll try to take a look at the replay and get a good look at what might have happened to Clayton. It appears that he is okay as conference with the other umpires has ended. DeBrower asking him to stretch it out. Clayton obliges. But we'll get back behind the dish and ready again. After watching the replay, it appeared that the bat, when Cuevas released it after the ground ball, flew back and caught Clayton on the inside part of his right leg. That led to him tumbling down. 1-2 breaking ball. That one misses outside. Two balls and two strikes to count now. So after a brief pause, Runyon back to work, looking to end the inning and strand the runner in scoring position. The Blue Crabs have stranded eight already. The 2-2 two -two swung on and missed as that will get away from Allen. But Cuevas will give himself up, and the catcher will tag him out to end the inning. Runyon works around the double. He allows no runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on base. We're headed to the bottom of the ninth. The Blue Crabs need three to keep their hopes alive in the series opener. Three, four, five when we come back on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network. Are you looking for the latest and best in Blue Crabs gear? Look no further than the newly redesigned and restocked Crab Shack Team Store, anchored by EC Sports. The Team Store features everything from old favorites like game replica hats and t-shirts to novelty items and collectibles. You can even purchase local art from our Southern Maryland Artist Showcase. You can visit our Team Store anytime 9 to 5, as well as during all home games. The Team Store is also available online by visiting somdbluecrabs.com and clicking the Store tab. This season, the Blue Crabs have been celebrating their 10th anniversary season with a 10th anniversary lapel pin giveaway series. Be sure to come out Saturday, September 16th, as the Blue Crabs wrap up their giveaway series and face off with the New Britain Bees. That night, the first 1,000 fans through the gates will receive a pin commemorating being 10 years true and 10 years blue. For more information on this or any of our other exciting events throughout the season, visit somdbluecrabs.com or you can call us at 301-638-9788. The Southern Maryland Blue Crabs are celebrating their 10-year anniversary in style this season at Regency Furniture Stadium in Waldorf, but they cannot do it without you. 
Fans can enjoy a day at their all-you-can-eat picnic pavilion in one of 16 luxury suites or just relaxing with friends and family anytime at any of their 70 home games all summer long. The Kids Park keeps the kids happy and active while mom and dad can enjoy great food and cold drinks all night before stopping in the newly redesigned and restocked Crab Shack Souvenir Store. We're headed to the bottom of the ninth as new Pritchard for Bridgeport, the closer Manny Del Carmen is in to shut the door as the 3-4-5 due up. LJ Hose takes first pitch, ball one. Hose swinging on the second pitch. That one's launched towards center, but it's going to get caught up in the wind as Myers will be able to get underneath that one. Second time, Hose has had great contact. Nothing to show in either of those. As one, a leaping catch at the wall by Lambeau, and that one tracked down by Myers on the warning track. So Del Carmen retires the first man he faces. He's the new closer for the Bluefish after David Carpenter had his contract purchased by the Arizona Diamondbacks organization. Carpenter had 30 saves. Del Carmen has taken over. He's 2-2 two and two with a 366 ERA, four saves. He has 48 appearances on the year. Oh, one to Snyder, swung on and missed. No balls and two strikes. Del Carmen against the Blue Crabs this season, making his 10th appearance. He's given up three runs in nine innings on 10 hits. He does have a save with the three ERA. 0-2 fastball just misses low and away. Del Carmen had walked off the mound. He thought he struck Snyder out looking. with six hits on the line score, but nothing to show for it as Del Carmen goes to the breaking ball. That one through the wickets of the catcher, Molina, and to the backstop, two and two. Blue Crabs have stranded four runners in the game to this point as they've yet to draw a walk against Bridgeport pitching. Snyder swinging here. That one will get past Molina and to the backstop as Del Carmen will be credited with the strikeout, but Snyder is aboard at first. On what will likely be ruled a wild pitch. Time is called here as it appears we will have a pinch runner for Snyder at first. We'll see who gets the call. No one has come out of the Blue Crabs dugout yet, as it will be number three, Kalaika Kahualala, on his way to first base. So KK will pinch run for Snyder. We've seen this numerous times throughout the year. Snyder, not the fastest anyway, still trying to fully recover from his knee issues that he had earlier in the year. So the Blue Crabs will look to get a little more speed on the base pass as they try to put up a run, or hopefully three, in this game. Del Carmen sets now for the first pitch to Rodriguez. That's fouled back out of play, 0-1. Rodriguez one for three with a double on the line score to this point. Del Carmen sets at the shoulders and now delivers. Rodriguez swinging here on the 0-1, fouled out of play. No balls and two strikes. The Blue Crabs are scoreless in 24 straight innings. They'll have to snap that and then some to get back in this game. O2 
O2's rolled towards second. This could do it. It's bobbled by Rosa, though, as he will fire on to first. A tailor-made double play. But Bridgeport unable to roll it as they'll settle for just one. On the recovery from Rosa, Rodriguez is set down for out number two. Kahuahala Ala is on second. So another man in scoring position for the Blue Crabs. The third to reach second base to this point. Patrick Palmero, the last hope for the Blue Crabs, swings on a first pitch fastball. 0 and 1. Palmero 0 for 3. He's grounded out, flown out, and struck out to this point. So Carmen sets and gives a look at second. Now delivers this one's line down the left field line, but that will get foul into the Blue Crabs bullpen. A little bit out in front of the breaking ball there. And now Southern Maryland down to their last strike here in the series opener. In danger of putting the losing streak at three games. Bridgeport looking to snap a three-game losing streak of their own coming into the game tonight. They're one strike away from doing that as Del Carmen sets at the chest. Now gives a look at second. And delivers 0-2 fastball off the plate away. One ball and two strikes. Palmero will have to find a way to reach base to bring up Luis Allen, who awaits on deck. Allen serves as the potential tying run in this game if he gets his chance. Del Carmen ready for the 1-2 now. Fastball swung on and missed, and Del Carmen gets the strikeout. That will do it. Here in Southern Maryland, the Bluefish shut out the Blue Crabs. The third straight day, the Blue Crabs have been shut out as they are now scoreless in 25 straight innings. Final score here, 3-0. Rainier Royball will go to 4-2 on the season. He picks up the win 5-2, scoreless for him before leaving with an injury. Eric Fornatero will get the loss as he will drop to 0-5, four straight losses for Fornatero when he gets the start. The save will go to Manny Del Carmen. That's his fifth of the season. As Bridgeport snaps a three-game losing streak, the losing streak for the Blue Crabs goes up to three. Game two coming up tomorrow. Blue Crabs will send pitcher of the year candidate Gabby Hernandez to the mound. Hernandez is 10 and 3 with a 2.63 ERA. He leads the league in strikeouts. He'll match up with former big leaguer Charles Brewer. Brewer 8 and 5 with a 4.20 ERA on the season for Bridgeport. So a matchup of power arms tomorrow. The Blue Crabs will send their ace looking to snap the streak, but the offense will have to come alive to get it done. 25 straight scoreless innings heading into the game tomorrow. First pitch in that one, 635. So once again, final score here tonight, Bridgeport 3, Southern Maryland 0. Game 2 of the four-game series coming up, 635 p.m. tomorrow. We'll see you back here on the Blue Crabs Baseball Network.